Good morning, uh, everybody. So, uh, my name is Xuân Tu Chen from Vietnam National University. I I will have this presentation with uh, Dr. Bu Ji Hiu. So today I would like to share with you uh, some information about our projects IDN, uh, for IoT. So it is a rich five-based system on chip platform for uh, Internet of Things applications. So here is the outline of uh, our presentation. So first, uh, we will have some information about the research group. And then we talk about some challenges uh, for the IoT and the security. And then we will uh, introduce a little bit about RISC-5 uh, and open source uh, ecosystem uh, for somebody who not yet have this information. And then we will focus on uh, our projects, IDEN for IoT. And uh, finally, we have some uh, conclusion. So uh, in the ITI, so we have a research group focused on uh, RISC-5. So uh, this project, we have uh, around 10 persons. So in which we have uh, six staff and four students. Uh, in this uh, research group, we focus on hardware security and uh, just security for hardware also. And uh, we also focus on some uh, hardware accelerate later for AI, for image and video processing. And uh, we are interested, interested in uh, RISC-5 and uh, open source ecosystem. And uh, we have also some activities on analog and mixed signal design and hardware software core design. So here you can see uh, some uh, picture from our members, Masha here, uh, Dr. Hill. Maybe I need the pointer. And uh, with uh, Dao Ju here is PhD student who, who is uh, working now for lightweight uh, ECC for IFID. <coughs> Uh, with the link for PCB and uh, embedded system development, with the join for system design and uh, IP design, uh, with the mic uh, for uh, analog mix uh, signal design, and uh, Taeyang, uh, a student, work on uh, analog mix signal design. So uh, for the IoT, uh, here you can uh, have a general picture to describe our, the IoT organization. So we have uh, so many uh, sensor nodes to uh, monitor and to read um, um, the information from the environment. And then we will uh, pre-process and send it back to uh, some kind of uh, internet uh, backbone. And then we uh, transfer all of this information to uh, cloud, cloud or some server, for example. And then we try to build some uh, application to process uh, this information and uh, uh, give back our decision or uh, our uh, action to the environment by using uh, uh, the actuator. So um, <clears throat> in our research uh, group, we focus on uh, uh, the IoT node, sensor node. So we try to build a ultra low power, ultra low cost constraint devices or X device as a uh, uh, the last presentation, we can see that uh, there are so many IoT devices, maybe uh, 50 billion in a few years. So the power consumption is one of the big problem for the IoT uh, structure. So um, for our research group, we focus on uh, some research issue related to the IoT. Uh, first is the uh, 
IoT platform uh, in which we focus on uh, the processor and some uh, main IP. So uh, with this uh, research issue, we adopt uh, several uh, processor. And uh, recently, we focus on uh, RISC-5, try to build an open source ecosystem. Uh, and uh, SGIOT grow very rapidly, so we need uh, to focus on two main issues uh, beside the platform architecture. First is uh, how to save the bat battery, mean that how to reduce the power consumption. Uh, it is always a big challenge in LSR design uh, for on uh, system. The second one is uh, how we can uh, protect our information uh, as we got many information from uh, the IoT sensor node and we uh, transfer, we push uh, them uh, uh, into the internet. So um, maybe uh, someone can get information, can know who you are and uh, can use this information for uh, their purpose. So it's not good for the privacy. So how we can protect this information. And uh, last but not least, we also focus on uh, how to make the GIOT uh, uh, become more intelligent or smarter. So this is one of uh, the other research sites, but uh, not included in uh, this presentation. So um, GIOT uh, rise the security and privacy problem, as I mentioned. Uh, so someone can say that uh, we have so many uh, cryptography algorithm uh, in the past. So why we do not uh, apply this cryptography algorithm for our IoT devices? But we need remember that uh, the IoT uh, devices is uh, very small. Uh, they have a uh, very limited uh, resource, small memory, uh, limited processing uh, capability. And uh, one of the things that uh, we require the IoT to consume uh, very low power uh, because they can be supplied by uh, the battery or something like that. And uh, uh, so this one of this uh, leads to the challenge in uh, uh, apply cryptography algorithm on IoT devices. So the information uh, security and uh, privacy issue. So in this research, we also focus on uh, how to protect the personal data through IoT devices and network and how to uh, defend with the, the new attack uh, in the future. So uh, on the right, you can see some example about some current uh, cryptography uh, algorithm can be applied for embedded system. Uh, so uh, depending on uh, uh, the algorithm, uh, some of them require uh, very complicated uh, computation and can be used uh, 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 in uh, some uh, bigger system. However, uh, they will consume uh, power consumption and also reduce the system throughput. So uh, our project, we design an ultra low power IC with the security feature for IoT. For security, uh, security uh, requirement, we must focus on uh, the data protection and uh, data integrity. And besides that, we need to focus also on the uh, authentication and uh, identification and communication protection and uh, also some firmware software protection. So in uh, the past, we can have some uh, uh, cryptography algorithm, but uh, can be separate into category, uh, the symmetric uh, cryptography and asymmetric cryptography. 
So the symmetric uh, cryptography, so we have to use the same key for uh, the encryption and uh, description. And uh, for the asym uh, asymmetric cryptography, so we use the public uh, key and the private key for decryption. So um, the advantage of uh, symmetric cryptography is that uh, we can uh, process rapidly and we can reduce the power consumption. Uh, the advantage of uh, asymmetric uh, cryptography is that uh, we can increase the security level of uh, uh, our system. So in our uh, projects, we focus on symmetric cryptography. Uh, I'm, I'm providing a low cost and low power uh, primitive to support uh, our requirement. So now I move to uh, the rich five and uh, open source uh, ecosystem. So uh, as the last presentation, I'll talk about uh, the development of uh, rich five uh, community. So there are so many uh, rich five cores and uh, system on chip uh, available. Uh, for example, uh, you can, can find more than uh, 110 uh, rich five core uh, and uh, more than 30 system on chip platform and uh, complete the uh, uh, LOC from uh, uh, many uh, 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 organization, uh, Punpino platform, Chip Jack, and uh, from Berkeley and uh, Andes technology and so on. So uh, the Rich Five uh, ecosystem, uh, uh, we can have a compiler. We can use the GCC or Area VM. We have uh, the simulator. Uh, uh, the validator and file stream uh, for FGJ. We have uh, some kind of uh, IP, very easy phone IP, uh, such as uh, the test chip IP and uh, uh, the cryptography. Uh, we have uh, the interface for communication, uh, the A AXI4 and uh, Tiling. And uh, recently, uh, Google uh, worked with uh, Skywater and uh, eFabless uh, to launch um, Google Open uh, MPW, multi process uh, project on wafer, and uh, open source Skywater uh, 0.13 uh, micromet PDK to push the hardware uh, development with uh, Rich 5. So I think that uh, it is uh, uh, an opportunity for uh, Vietnamese researcher to contribute to this project. And we can go ahead to get uh, the uh, chip tape out with uh, Google Open MPW. And uh, in this uh, uh, Opportunity, we you can uh, try to focus on some kind of uh, uh, research topic. For example, you can uh, uh, try to develop some local uh, IoT architecture, and uh, you can work with uh, security, or even uh, uh, we can uh, develop some uh, uh, application with uh, very high performance for five G or even for artificial intelligence. So here is one of the projects that uh, our group uh, already uh, submit uh, for tip out with the Google Open uh, MPW uh, program. So um, for the IoT, ident for IoT, uh, it is a low power sensor nodes. So here you can see the general, uh, just, uh, architecture of our uh, sensor node. So we have a system on chip, but <coughs> an, uh, um, a secure IoT system on chip uh, here. Uh, we can uh, communicate uh, with your PC through uh, USB 2.0 and uh, 
it can uh, communicate with uh, other sensor node or gateway with uh, uh, Bluetooth low energy and LoRa uh, standard. And uh, the system can interface with uh, many sensors using uh, GPIO, I2C, and uh, also the SPI for flash or other devices. So uh, this sensor node win, uh, uh, can be configured by uh, the PC, by our program on PC, and then uh, it can operate uh, independently and communicate with the get IoT gateway. Gateway, and then the, the information uh, uh, after collected by uh, sensor node uh, and IoT gateway will be transferred to uh, the internet by spawn, uh, and then uh, push on uh, uh, server on the cloud computing. Here is a system on chip architecture. So in this project, we have uh, the RISC five. Uh, from uh, um, ETZ, Pumpeno, Pumpeno, and we developed our uh, secure IP uh, based on AES uh, standard. And uh, we uh, modify some uh, open IP uh, to adapt our system. So um, uh, with uh, this system, we have uh, the low power uh, risk five core for configuration and uh, for control uh, on the information of uh, the system and for uh, acquire uh, the data from uh, the, 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 sens the sensor, the sensor from uh, communication interface such as SPI, UART, I2C, and GPL. So here uh, is a little bit detail in our proposed uh, lightweight uh, uh, AEID uh, encryption module. So uh, it is um, advanced encryption uh, with uh, associated data. So uh, here is the core of uh, our uh, uh, AES. And uh, this uh, uh, AES uh, interface with the system uh, through ACI uh, interface with the uh, master and uh, slave. So we use uh, uh, one uh, interface for uh, uh, configure our AES core thanks to the system configuration uh, registers. And then we use another interface to transfer the data uh, from the the system to the AES and from the AES to the system. So slaver uh, will be used for configuration and master for lightweight uh, direct memory access. And in this uh, architecture, uh, so uh, we develop uh, uh, the AES core with the uh, 32 bit data part uh, to adapt with the, the size of the, <coughs> the, the microprocessor. And uh, we apply many low power techniques. Uh, uh, for example, uh, we apply uh, clock gating for S spoke, and uh, we modify the data path, and uh, we try to modify the control, uh, the uh, configuration as well to reduce the power consumption. And uh, uh, to make the system uh, smaller and smaller. So we try to uh, develop a hardware software co-design for some uh, uh, advanced encryption with the associated data modes, uh, for example, CCM and uh, GCM. Here's the prototype. So the processor used in our project is the uh, uh, from Punpano. And uh, the, the operating frequency is uh, 25 megahertz. And uh, we apply, uh, we use uh, some uh, our RIP uh, and interface uh, with the, the system through ASI 4 bus. And here you can see the RISC-V core in uh, our system put on FPJ. And here is a uh, transceiver. Uh, based on uh, Bluetooth and low energy and LoRa uh, 
standard. And after uh, uh, finish the prototype on FPJ, we move to uh, the ASIC, the uh, fabricate, uh, fa fabrication uh, phase. So uh, the AES core with the interface occupy around 32, uh, 30, um, 23 kilogram. And uh, we can get uh, the encryption throughput uh, up to uh, more than 120 megabit per second at the operating frequency, 60 megahertz. And um, the power consumption uh, just around uh, 0.7 uh, milliwatt. And uh, all the system consume uh, around uh, 17 uh, milliwatt at uh, 60 megahertz. Uh, and uh, if we count just only the, the system without IO, IO cell, so the system consume uh, around 10 uh, milliwatt. This is a layer for uh, chip fabrication on uh, TMC CMOS 65 nanometer. And uh, for sensor for, for the system sensor node after got uh, our test chip, so we put uh, into a, an application. Uh, uh, this is a sensor node to uh, monitor some uh, uh, environment uh, parameters. So uh, we build the system with the power supply around uh, uh, 3.3 volt to 5 volt, and. Uh, uh, the operating frequency can be varies from 10 to uh, 60 megahertz. And we use uh, a memory, uh, SPI flash, to store our software program. And uh, we use some uh, the, the, uh, Bluetooth low energy uh, and LoRa transceiver for communicating uh, between the sensor node and the sensor node, uh, uh, between the sensor node uh, and the gateway. And we use uh, several sensor, uh, air quality, uh, PM uh, 2.5, and uh, also uh, PM uh, 10, the CO, and uh, uh, hydro, uh, and so on, and uh, PS and temperature to monitor both uh, uh, air and uh, water. For software programming environment, so uh, with uh, RISC V, we uh, can use uh, GCC as the compiler in our project here, and uh, uh, it is uh, quite uh, com compatible with uh, Arduino. So if someone are familiar with uh, Arduino, you can uh, program uh, RISC V easily, and. Um, we use SPI interface for debug our system. Uh, in, for library, we can have uh, uh, AES and uh, AEAD encryption and Bluetooth low energy, LoRa for uh, at least uh, 12, uh, 1280 uh, transceiver and uh, the sensor as well. And uh, we have some software development kit uh, for Arduino and uh, platform IO. And for the interface, uh, user interface, we use a uh, cloud platform, uh, the Node-RED. And here's some information about, uh, some, some picture about our uh, demonstration. So here's the main, uh, the main board of our system. And here is the total system with uh, uh, the transceiver and uh, some connector and adapter for uh, sensors. And uh, we also make a 3D, uh, uh, make a box with uh, 3D printing uh, to protect our system uh, uh, when we put uh, inside or outside uh, the house. And here's the user interface uh, to monitor air quality, water quality, particular matter, and so on. And uh, the, the, finally, the chip, uh, active power is uh, 17 uh, milliwatt, 
and the full system power consumption um, is a 40 million million pair at uh, 3.7 volt and uh, we we so that uh, we, we think that we can uh, optimize more for the power consumption uh, by apply some uh, uh, some kind of uh, local technique uh, in software uh, for example standby and uh, normally cut off and so on and here's the renewable uh, demonstration at the uh, Huala High Tech Park so we bring our system uh, and run the system at uh, Huala High Tech Park to monitor in the lake and uh, in the building uh, at the manufacturer and uh, okay so uh, I go with a little bit quickly because we lost uh, some minutes for the technical problem so uh, for uh, um, this project I would like to conclude uh, uh, something so um, uh, we have uh, both channels and uh, uh, opportunity for developing uh, processor hardware for security and low power solution for uh, the Internet of Things um, by using uh, RISC-5 and uh, in our project IDEN for IoT it is a platform for uh, secure IoT application built from uh, hardware software ecosystem so we already propose our low power AES course and uh, uh, also in this project we develop uh, a lightweight DMA interface to assess accelerated uh, AES encryption and we also uh, uh, develop a hardware software co-design for uh, uh, advanced encryption associated data modes for AES and we use a single or RISC-5 uh, processor, uh, pool panel, but uh, for uh, uh, more complex uh, system, we can use uh, a multi-core RISC-5 uh, processor uh, for the application. And the software development environment and library for uh, data encryption communication sensor uh, are uh, more available for, uh, for first to develop a uh, sub kind of system. So um, that's all my presentation. Thank you for your attention. And with all of you, have a very great uh, New Year uh, 2022. And uh, with that, uh, uh, many engineers, many scientists uh, uh, use RISC-V and FAO is uh, interesting for your work. Thank you.